football, the great American game, the national pastime of millions. The player is an all-around athlete. The uniform is loose-fitting to allow freedom of movement. The shoes are sturdy, lightweight, and comfortable. The pitcher, or hurler, is the most important man on the team, for pitching demands limber brains and well-coordinated muscles, not only in the throwing arm, but of the entire body, in order to obtain that bullet-like delivery of the ball. On the opposing team, we have the batter, who carefully selects his favorite stick, or bat. The play starts when the batter hits the ball. Strangely enough, however, the pitcher tries to keep the batter from hitting the ball. To accomplish this, the pitcher holds the ball in such a manner as to cause it to curve when thrown. The spitball is also used to further dampen the batter's spirits. The speedball is referred to as the fireball, smoke ball, etc. And now we can fully appreciate that thrill of thrills, the World Series. The bases are loaded, the pitcher's in an awful spot, and the crowd is going crazy. A half million dollars and the World Series hinge on this pitch. It's a terrific pitch. He literally knocked the horse hide off the old apple. Runner tears for first, and the crowd is going absolutely mad. Here comes the ball, and it looks like the fielder has it. Well, folks, it's up to the umpire, that impartial pillar of judicial dignity, whose word is law. He out! What do you mean? Free speech, that great American privilege, is thoroughly enjoyed by players and spectators alike. That's why the national sport will always be that good old American game, baseball.